Hello there ladies and gentlemen, thrill seeks of all ages, my name is Coaster Chal and welcome to Coaster Chal YouTube channel. <laughs> Hello there ladies and gentlemen, thrill seeks of all ages, Coaster Chal here, Doncaster born but built for theme parks and welcome to a theme park newsroom update. In today's video ladies and gentlemen we're going to be talking about Lego Land Windsor and their brand new indoor adventure golf course plans revealed by the theme park along with extra attraction details including a brand new roller coaster. So before we get started guys make sure you do like the video if you've loved it, comment down below your thoughts and opinions, subscribe if you're new around here, click the notification bell so you never miss another YouTube video. We are getting closer and closer to 3,000 subscribers and a million views. It would mean a lot, really mean a lot if we hit that for the end of 2022. Also guys check the description down below for social media links and the Google Forms link where you behind the camera can submit your own video ideas and also stay tuned for the 11th of February 2022 for the Blackpool Pleasure Beach trip preview. And for now guys let's have a look at Legoland Windsor's brand new attractions. So Legoland Windsor plans to build a new adventure golf course by spring 2023 amid delays to their holiday village development. The famous theme park near the historic town that shared plans it will soon submit to the Royal Borough of Windsor and Maidenhead Council to construct an indoor attraction for guests visiting the resort as well as those staying overnight to enjoy in the evening. Councillors and residents sitting on the Windsor Town Forum heard the proposed addition will have up to three golf courses with different Lego themes and branding. An upcoming visitor attraction in Kent called London Resort could draw guests away from Legoland and the theme park needs to, in quotations, up its game. If approved, the golf course will be erected on one of the car parts to the west of Legoland, but details are yet to be finalised. The consultation advisor for the resort, David Pugh, said this is about attracting more people to the local area with a diversified offer, part of the wider holidays package. He also said a brand new roller coaster plan will be coming forward and parts of the theme park will be refreshed. Back in 2018, the council approved plans for Legoland to build a holiday village consisting of 450 lodges in the green belt for guests to stay overnight. Drawing of the villagers shown the units appear to be built with materials to make it look like it was built by Lego. The village has a woodland setting with large foxes and other wildlife statues built by Lego bricks. But the plans were delayed after the countryside charity campaign to protect rural England went to the High Court in order to stop the development, believing the council did not take the appropriate examination of the scheme's impact on ancient and veteran trees. Both the High Court and the Court of Appeal dismissed the charity's case and the group of applied to the Supreme Court, the most senior court in the UK, but that was rejected. With the final hurdle cleared, Mr Pugh said Legoland can now start implementing the first phase of the delay planned, which includes building 150 lodges by 2024. He said there's been a lack of family-friendly accommodation that has been identified in the past visitor surveys, and part of the holiday village is about providing the accommodation at a lower price point. Not just for guests who won't be coming to Legoland as part of that, but those families can visit other attractions in the local area. The forum heard a link from the M4 to the resort is now nigh on impossible due to the environmental constraints and the existing access to the theme park from Wingfield Road will remain the case indefinitely. Now let's share my thoughts on all that's happening at Legoland Winter Resort. There we are ladies and gentlemen, thrill six of all ages, that is speaking about the future attractions of Legoland Winter Resort. Now first of all let's speak about this in reverse chronological order, let's speak about first of all the holiday village delay till 2024 and the first 150 lodges that are set to begin construction. Now obviously this is a massive development for Legoland Windsor Resort, another hotel complex, add that to the Castle Hotel and the Legoland Windsor Hotel, uh, the two hotels. Now. I'm young enough to remember the classic Legoland Windsor from before 2006, you know, it was, it was back 2004 or 5. I remember going on the Jungle Coaster. I've got my photo actually somewhere up there, in fact I can see it peeking out over the top <laughs> of my air photo. Um, but yeah, this, this was just, you know, this was just a nice hotel when it opened back in 2012. Um, you know, it just looked like a wonderful, wonderful attraction for Legoland, a nice experience for the whole family. It's a hotel that catered for the entire family, gave the kids their own adventures, gave the adults something to do. And, you know, they improved on that years later with the Castle Hotel. And now they've got this, the Holiday Villages for 2024. Now, obviously, moving on to this fresh new attraction details. 
um, the new roller coaster and fresh parts of the park uh, refreshed. Um, in terms of the new roller coaster, I'm not expecting anything too thrilling, but mind you, Chessington have got an inversion in 2023, so anything's possible. <laughs> B&M, give me a call. <laughs> Um, but no, Legoland wins a couple anything out of the bag. Yeah, they really, really could. I would like to see, and maybe this could attract the teenagers to Legoland Windsor. I would like to see the Vacoma Family Boomerang and Suspended Thrill Coaster dual concepts that's going into Tato Park in a couple of years and that's gone into um, Trips Drill uh, just about a year ago now. So I'd like to see that concept come into Legoland Windsor. I think that could be a really cool concept. Or maybe a dueling family boomerang coaster could be really cool. Something thrilling, but also catering to the families as well. Because the suspended thrilling coaster is definitely... Uh, you know, the STC is a wonderful concept. And I think it could be really good for the the higher audience. Like the, the more mature audience of Legoland Windsor. They come to Legoland Windsor Resorts. Uh, then you've also got the family boomerang which will cater towards the families a lot more as well So I think they've got best of both worlds with that concept, but uh, that's just my early guesses in terms of which parts of the park I think could get refreshed. I'm not too sure comment down below which parts of the park you want to see get refreshed And finally the indoor adventure golf course now this is opening in 2023 three different golf courses all set in an indoor building on a car park to the west of Legoland I think it's a wonderful investment. I think it's a really smart investment by Lola Windsor. A nice attraction. Built like the roller coaster restaurant at Alton Towers, where you can open it in the daytime but also in the evenings as well. And it's got its own opening and closing times. Whether this golf course is an extra charge attraction, I'm not too sure because Extraordinary Golf at Alton Towers, I believe, is an extra charge attraction. So, you know. With that being an extra charge attraction, an extra admission attraction on top of the park ticket. For me, I feel like they're going to go in that direction. I think it will be an extra admission charge attraction, an extra ticket attraction uh, for an extra price. Uh, I'm not expecting that to be included in the admission. Now, of course, Legoland Windsor did used to have a, a, a golf course, uh, a little mini one called uh, Molin One, uh, which was removed for the Drench Towers. So, um, you know, this was a classic golf course. And, you know, I remember that attraction. I remember that 100%. Um, so for me, I think that, you know, I think it could be a really cool addition to Legoland. And I think that with it being indoors as well, I think that the possible lighting package for this could be amazing. And, you know, the three different golf courses, could they be individually themed? Could there be one theme to Egypt, one theme to dinosaurs, one theme to the future? I don't know. I really don't know. Um, but Legoland could definitely pull some surprises out here with this. That is for sure. But that is all your news from Legoland Windsor. A whole hell of a lot's gone on at Legoland Windsor. Please do like, comment, subscribe. And for now, my name is Coach Chell on the coast of life and I'll see you guys in the next video very very soon. Take care guys, have a Lego-tastic day.